Sonu stands for. Sonu, I would characterize it as a political organization within the University of Nairobi. So when you hear Sonu uh, group, these are politicians. And like uh, in the campaigns in Uganda, you know there was this phrase that don't give a vote to the mic. It was repeated over and over and over again. Now because we know each other with uh, our stripes, one thing we excel in as uh, its own is that as politicians, if you give us a forum where they are, there's a big multitude and the speeches are to be given that are not really concrete, I think most of us excel. But if you give us the mic and ask us to give a distinguished speech, most of us uh, have nothing much to say. At least that is um, as far as uh, I'm concerned. So for Fomba, I'll only say two things, and you'll allow me to quote from William Shakespeare. I'm going to quote from the book, uh, Juli sorry, there is uh, writing Julius Caesar, and uh, the other one, I think, Julius Caesar, all of them. Fomba, since I knew him in campus, always dressed, speak, and span. In fact, I, it's very rare that I've seen Fuamba without uh, a suit. I'll be very much honest, even in simple occasions. <laughs> a well-dressed thought, as a well-dressed man, appears to a great advantage. So I believe today, as we stand here, it's not really just to praise Fuamba, but also to give him some nuggets of wisdom. Um, Charles Dickens, in his book, A Tale of Two Cities, begins with a very short poem, and he says, it was the best of time, it was the worst of time. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the summer of hope, it was the winter of despair. To me, that summarizes our experience in the University of Nairobi. Those of us who are here understand that contradiction, and uh, that best summarizes that bit. But what I find very important is the words that were written by Shakespeare in Julius Caesar. Of course, there are so many characters if you read, if you read that play. But Brutus talks, about, talks to Cassius about joining in the conspiracy. And because I think I've become an old man, that's why you'll allow me to read, because I don't need, I, I think I've forgotten it. He says, there is a tide in the affairs of men, which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, all the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in missiles. On such a full sea are we now afloat. And we must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. Fuamba, I want to tell you something to remember, that all human beings have their peak when they are at the top of their game. And a senior lawyer was telling me today that what is really regrettable is that most of us don't realize when we are at our peak. We only realize after it has passed. And what Brutus is telling Cassius here is to seize the opportunity when it is the right time to seize opportunity. And here I am telling you, you know, all these people who are here see you as a leader. And in terms of leadership, you can, there are so many other things that you can aspire to do. So without making, taking too much time, all I can tell you is that Fuamba, you must take this at the flood. Right now, is when the waves are up. It might be too late if you do not seize the opportunity. Finally, uh, ladies and gentlemen, during uh, graduation in the Jewish community, there is a word they normally use, which is kadima, which basically means forward. And Fomba, let's keep pushing forward. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much.